Hey guys, I'm uh, back from Florida where I went to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party at uh, the Magic Kingdom. Went to Epcot for a couple days, went to uh, Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios. And on the last day of my trip, we went to Horror Nights and it rained on us pretty bad that, that night. And previously on this trip, it had only been like short bursts of rain and, and that would be it for the whole day. But that night, it rained all night, sometimes really aggressively. My shoes and socks got soaked with water, and now I have a really bad head cold. So uh, I'm going to try to get through this uh, unboxing video as best I can. And this is uh, X-Men Apocalypse. This is the Target exclusive version. I'm going to unbox this right now, and I'm going to uh, also show you my, my latest toy acquisitions. Um, I'm not doing full toy reviews on them because they're not exactly anything that, that that's particularly new, but uh, I'm just, they're new for me. I just got them. <clears throat> they're they're kind of new, but there's toy reviews on them already, so I'm just going to show them to you at the end of this unboxing. As for the trip, um, I'm going to uh, edit together all the video footage I shot on the trip, and um, uh, hopefully I'll I'll get that up sometime this week and uh and what else oh hopefully get together with my sister at the you know at maybe next week and uh just shoot a video of us talking about our um our trip and uh <clears throat> giving our opinions of things that we did on the trip and uh hopefully also another episode of moonlight movies will be on uh this coming week or weekend next next weekend probably not this weekend but the, but the next I think this weekend uh, yeah I think I might be busy this weekend so yeah um, well you know more to come more to come but for today I did pick up the X-Men Apocalypse I'm about to unwrap it for you this is the the new movie on blu-ray and this is from Target this is an exclusive Target digi book now it's got a slip cover on it right now and the plastic cover and uh, I haven't even really looked at this yet but you've got a blu-ray DVD and digital HD we've got some toys in front of me so this is hard not to knock everything over but I'm trying to give you a close look here <clears throat> I did see this in theaters I know it didn't get the best uh, response but uh, I I liked it I could see where it could have been better, but then there were um, some great moments and some great characters, and I, I enjoyed it. Um, <clears throat> once again, uh, Quicksilver, which was the guy from American Horror Story in uh, in this X Men universe, uh, he he re he stole the show again with a fantastic uh, a fantastic scene, and then you had um, uh, this character here, uh, who's I'm not super familiar with the X Men yet. You know, but um, she was you know, very attractive. Uh, I, gosh, what is her name? Is it Psylocke? Am I wrong? Is that Psylocke? I don't. I don't know. Um, I'm not super familiar with the X Men. I do watch the movies. Uh, I, I never watched the cartoon when it was on. I never read the comics, but I loved the movies ever since the first one. I watched some of the animated show uh, that came after the movies, the um, the one that was on Cartoon Network. I think X Men Evolution. Uh, but yeah, X-Men is something that for me, I, I only know them through these movies and a little bit in other places. I mean, I've always gone to comic shops because I, I read other comics, so I've always known about them, but <coughs> never was uh, hugely into the X-Men. But yeah, I really did. I, I, I've been a fan ever since the, the first movie came on, so... Let's crack this sucker open. Loaded with extras. <laughs> I'm This cold has got me totally out of it, guys. Loaded with extras, including deleted scenes, gag reel, and the making of Apocalypse. Okay, and you've got... Uh, the book is actually supposed to be the exclusive 1983 X-Men yearbook. So it's like a school yearbook. And here's here's the back for you. Your typical like description of the movie and your comments special features blu-ray x-men apocalypse uh, apocalypse unearthed rap party video deleted extended scenes 
with optional instructions by Brian Singer. Introductions, sorry. Blu-ray and DVD has the gag reel. And okay, so this, that first bunch of stuff was just Blu-ray exclusives. Blu-ray and DVD share the gag reel. Audio commentary by Brian Singer and uh, Simon Kinberg and a gallery. Okay. So you've got some bonus features that are exclusive to the Blu-ray. And of course, you know, the digital HD code is in here, so I gotta be careful not to show that all over here when I get this open. So let's let's crack her open. Take the plastic off. And there it is, no plastic. Let's slide this slip cover off. And here we go. And it looks like a pretty cool hardcover yearbook. Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters, 1407 Gray Malkin Lane, Salem Center, Westchester County, New York, 1983. Fratrum Tum Ajuva. I don't know. That's some kind of, I guess, Greek-like thing. <laughs> and then there's the shield on the, the shield on the back. It's very nice looking. And this is actually the DVD case. Now, when I saw this in the advertisement, I I didn't realize. I they they advertised it in the weekly ad as if it was just going to be a book attached to like the DVD case. But it's it's a digi book. It's what it is. And Here's the disc. This is the Blu-ray in the first page. Whoa, I just showed my digital code. Okay, you know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to put this code in before I post this video. <laughs> okay, so here's the, uh, I just took out the digital code, but there's a digital code in here. And uh, here is the, the Blu-ray. And some people, I've seen like one other review of this and they pointed this out too. That the, the disc does kind of hang loose there if you hold it that way, but you know, it's fine if you just are careful when you open it. <clears throat> and in the back of the book, there is the uh, DVD version of the movie, and here is the, uh, the yearbook. So you've got like signatures and table of contents. And you've got faculty. I'm, I'm not going to hit every page here, but because it's kind of hard to, to show this like that. But you know, there's faculty page, there's another page there. <laughs> what does that say? Jean Grey, a specific focus on Jean Grey on this one page here. You know, various. Uh, now, if this was a real yearbook, I think there'd be a heck of a lot of more stuff in there. But it's still nice. I mean, you know, they could have gone more hardcore with it, but pretty cool. I mean, as a, as a nice little interesting DVD case or Blu-ray case, that's pretty cool. I like it. Of course, the other option that I know of, well, you can just get the plain old Blu-ray uh, case. Or there's the, uh, you know, the 4K one. I don't have 4K TV or player or anything like that. I still don't know enough about 4K. I mean, I would, it looks amazing, but I don't know what the details are on, like, if it's backwards compatible or anything like that. I'm not going to get anything that doesn't play all my old Blu-rays and DVDs. Uh, but maybe it does. <clears throat> Uh, but anyway, and th there is a steel book out at Best Buy, and I'm sure that's the main thing people are after. But this one, I don't know. I I think this is more interesting than a steel book. I, I I can appreciate steel steel book cases, you know. I I love to get them. Uh, usually can't find the Best Buy ones, but with X Men, I think I might maybe I could have found it. It kind of can depend on the movie. Sometimes you can find them. And sometimes it just depends on your location, but around here in Austin, usually have trouble with the steel books. 
somehow I did land the uh, the Best Buy uh, Steelbook of Deadpool. I don't know how, but I managed to find some of those. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, this this one was only 19.99 this week, and with the taxes, you know, 21.64. I mean, that that's great. This is a, a digi book and everything. That's pretty cool. Uh, the steel book, I'm I believe costs a little bit more than that, maybe a lot more. Uh, so the price was right with this one, and I just find it to be more interesting. I mean, it's you know, it's it's not just a steel case and then steel cases are nice but yeah I don't know I, I like this uh, I'm kind of I kind of preferred it so I'm happy I got it looks cool digi book x-men apocalypse and for safety you've got this little slip cover you can keep or you can discard or you can just store it separately it does kind of <laughs> take away the awesome look of the, of the Digi book, but I'll probably keep it on anyway. It protects it nicely. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, don't bother trying to use that digital code. I'm gonna put that in there before I post this video. Okay, so good stuff. Uh, that's your unwrapping, and uh, now on to a couple of toys I picked up. I showed you in a previous video that. Uh, McDonald's Happy Meals, which I very rarely buy anymore. I used to collect them when I was a kid. I don't really collect them much anymore. Um, it's been years, actually, since I got any Happy Meal toys, aside from two of the Peabody and Sherman toys, because they were really cool, and it's really hard to find Peabody and Sherman anything. So I did pick up a couple of those. But yeah, right now they have the DC Superhero Girls toys, and they also have... DC action or whatever it is uh, Justice League action that's that's the other one but I like the superhero girls I think they're super cute uh, I just I like cute girls that's something I like so uh, you know I'm trying to get rid of most of my toys especially Happy Meal toys but I have an extreme weakness for Batgirl and Supergirl and uh, the set they have at McDonald's right now includes Katana who hasn't been released in the regular action figure line, which I do have all of right now. So I was kind of excited to you know try to collect them. I haven't gotten Katana yet because she's like next to last on the uh, way they're releasing them. But I did pick up, uh, right before I left on the trip, I picked up Supergirl. Now as you know, the first one I got, which was the number one toy, was Wonder Woman. And number two was like a headband, uh, Wonder Woman headband or something, or Supergirl. Uh, and uh, number four also, you know, those were like, two and four were like things like that. And number seven is like a Batgirl mask, or number six is like a Batgirl mask. And I don't really care about the accessory type things or the costume type things. I just want the figures. So I picked up uh, Supergirl before I left, and uh, she's number three. And today I got number five, which is Bumblebee. And I, you know, I think I almost missed this one from being out of town, but they had like one left there because they were trying to give me a background mask and I had them dig for it and they got me that one. So now I just need Katana and I need um, Batgirl. Shockingly, they did not make Harley Quinn, which seems really stupid because she's so popular. But uh, for this uh, Happy Meals release, uh, they didn't make Harley Quinn. Um, but yeah, so I just picked those two up and I've got two more to get and uh, also you uh, know this is a, a real action figure not a Happy Meal one but we had like I guess it was Force Monday this year not it was Rogue Monday which was the release of the toys from the upcoming Rogue One Star Wars movie and uh, I'm pretty excited for that movie for one thing I'm always excited for a new Star Wars movie <clears throat> especially like you know now that they're better than the prequels and I didn't hate the prequels but yeah they have some major flaws uh, but I'm, I'm a huge Star Wars fan so I mean just seeing you know familiar characters from Star Wars back again I can get enjoyment from the prequels and you know Natalie Portman is always nice and <laughs> um, but I have a new Star Wars crush and uh, 
maybe my favorite Star Wars girl. And let's see if I can remember what her name is, because just, I'm just getting uh, starting to learn this whole Rogue One thing. I, I believe it's is it Jin? I'm gonna say it's Jin Elso. That's my that's my trying to remember it. I I, I don't remember exactly what her name is, but or Elso Elso. I, I don't know. But she's the new star. You've seen her in all the trailers, uh, and I don't even know the actress's name, but. I've already got a crush on this girl. She is a stunner, and she seems like a really cool character. This is the new six inch black series action figure of her that came out, I believe yesterday. Some people were finding them early, but uh, I went into Target and they had one and I was really excited. And I saw another one today at a different Target, so not impossible to find. Um, there is also, uh, several other figures that came out including a new Ray figure that is the same Ray figure that came out before but much better likeness I think and she comes with a lightsaber now um, so I'm tempted to get that one just because of the better likeness because I mean I've got a spare lightsaber already for my Ray figure because X-Wing uh, pilot Luke Skywalker came with the lightsaber and that's totally pointless so I gave it to Ray but but I still might get another Ray because I, I the likeness is so much better than the, the first release. Maybe it's just a better paint job. I don't know. But anyway, this character, my new love, uh, my new Star Wars love. Now she comes with a pistol. And she comes in the package wearing this hood. Which is not super easy to remove. I almost wish that it was an extra head in there like the uh, Darth Maul. The Darth Maul figure, which was like the first black series figure I ever got and I'm still lacking many black series figures I have a huge collection of black series figures but I'm missing a lot of them and the only like deluxe one that I've ever gotten was the speeder bike the biker scout on the speeder bike I only got one of those even though they were on clearance never got Jabba never got Boba the well Boba was a regular figure I never got but you know I, I, I was kind of holding out for the San Diego comic-con one which I still hope someday I can get that and uh, also the same thing with Jabba. Um, <clears throat> never got that giant. <laughs> I've got nowhere to put that giant uh, TIE fighter they came out with for these figures. But yeah, this figure, I, I love this figure. Check this figure out. Now she's $19.99. Some people were finding her mis mispriced when they found her early. And they were getting her for like 10 bucks, I think. Unless I was reading that wrong. And here's uh, the hood goes over her head. But like I say, it's kind of hard to take off. So I'm, uh, I don't want to mess her nose up. Because she's just so gorgeous. But yeah, again, pretty good likeness for, you know, it's very simply done, but pretty good. <coughs> so yeah, uh... That's my new toy acquisitions. That's really all there is. Uh, I just wanted to do that unwrapping. And like I said, I'm not reviewing these figures hardcore or anything because pretty much there's already re re a lot of reviews online. But, uh, and I'm not feeling great. I'm sick. I got a cold. But yeah, hopefully I'll be posting some more stuff soon on the trip that I took. Uh, I haven't posted anything really for that yet. Um, I've already got... <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> a copyright warning notice or whatever you call it uh, because one of my videos for that trip includes the uh, boot to you parade and so I got the Disney copyright claim notice thing because there's music in there from the parade and it's like everybody posts their videos from that parade come on and uh, that video is just in private now I don't know how they I don't know how it works I don't know how they find your like videos that are used that have music from other things so i guess i'm not going to be able to monetize that video or whatever but i don't care i'm just gonna try to post it as is hopefully they'll they'll leave it but yeah i'm gonna cut everything together to one big video about the trip and uh i might do a little intro for it um and yeah that's about it um and then uh later hopefully a video of my sister and i just discussing our trip and more halloween Moonlight movies and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed the unwrapping and well the unboxing. 
I call it unwrapping. That's basically what you're doing with a movie. You're not unboxing it. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> I'm, I'm sick. And, uh, so, <clears throat> yeah, uh, you know, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff down there. And I'll catch you guys later when I'm feeling better, hopefully soon, with more videos. Okay, see ya.